Hi folks, uh, so today I'm going to attempt to change the cams on my Verbal Plus Roll. Um, comes with three sets of cams, the pre-installed one is 30 degrees, uh, there's a 40 degree one and a 50 degree. Now I've been using the throttle for about three weeks now, flying a lot in DCS, starting to get used to it and whatnot, and I've been using the 30 degree one, but I'm going to give the uh, the 40 degree one a try today. I think a 50 is going to be way too much. Um, so I've left it attached to my uh, Monster Tech mount. Um, I bought the Monster Tech mount and then took an angle grinder to it and made this absolutely gorgeously pretty cut along here to remove a section of it so as I could um, mount it the other way around. Normally it goes on this side uh, but I wanted to mount it on this side to move it closer to my chair. I use a um, a sim pit made out of aluminium extrude and uh, this is the more fitting way for me to use it plus I get the ability to adjust the uh, height of it up and down so you're going to need a couple of allen keys so I'll take the first bolt out Oops. other smaller screws. A side note, the cams themselves, or the stop should I say, they have little um, notches in them, they don't know which ones are which. You can check out the verbal manual to see which is which. Like I said, I've been using the 30 degree ones now for about 3 weeks and yeah, it's pretty decent. I just want to try it the 40 and see if it gives me any more accuracy. This is the first time I've actually opened this up so let's see what's under the bonnet. Nothing too amazing. I've got a little micro board. And wire going to obviously the grip and then the sensor here, as well as a couple of ribbons going over to the aux connector and the standard USB one. And this part here of the mechanism is one side of the clamp adjustment and that's the other there. So obviously these rubber caps come off on these ends here for an allen key to go in here and adjust the tension which basically compresses on this part which is what the uh, the base is mounted onto. washer there as well. Don't be losing that. So I've actually moved this slightly off the fully down position. I'm guessing you probably have to do that to get this off and on. That's the one, that's the 30 degree with the single notch. And then the 40 degree has two notches and the 50 has three notches in it. Not 
This will be lining up right. Give it a wee wiggle. Hmm. What's going on there? Need to free it up a wee bit more. I guess you should probably move it to almost the center position then. So, note to you guys out there if you're going to do that, move it probably at about 50% travel or more. Because the stop obviously is at the bottom. tend to put it in just about finger tight on both of them first before I go full hulk on them and really tighten them in properly. Don't go crazy like you don't want to be stripping ahead of this because that'll be a bloody problem. Right so there you go. Let's see what that's like. Oh and I got lucky and it's not touching the casing so that's good. And there we go, that's it in. Seems secure. I'll just put the cover back on. Uh, take note the cover goes on one specific way because you've got that shiny outer edge thing going on there. Let's try to never force these sort of things when you're putting them in. See if it doesn't feel like it's going in? Nah, step back and try another one, maybe. If we just put them on finger time, I'm not going to go crazy on them because you don't need to go crazy. There you go, doesn't take too long, it's easy enough to be done, and uh, there you go. Now because I've actually fiddled physically with one of the axes, what I'm going to do right now is recalibrate the main axis. So I've loaded up the VPC software, I've selected the um, collective here, now I double click on the axis, then start calibration. All the way up, all the way to the bottom. Do it a couple of times. Put it to the bottom. Click stop. Save. And then save VPC device.
And there we go. That's us done. Now, we'll go off and try some flan with this. All right, take care out there, folks. Bye.